Another general question about the study timeline. I haven't registered officially to take the exam yet, but I'm hoping it's doable in two months compressed timeline so I don't have to study during the summer. Totally on board with that. Um, it's, it's just a bit of a different animal if you want to do it in, in two months. So my standard answer for how long should you spend on this program is three to four months. And the reason I give a range is because three months is sort of assuming everything goes perfect. Uh, I assume that you're busy. Um, you have things going on at work, things going on at home. You can probably only dedicate an hour to an hour and a half a day. And uh, you really don't want extra stress in your life. So uh, an hour to an hour and a half a day is pretty manageable. If you miss a day, it's not the end of the world. Um, and the reason I say four months is because something could come up. You might miss a week. You could get stressed. You know, you could get a project. Maybe you have to travel for work. Who knows? Um, if you miss a week or two, if you allow for four months instead of three, you have some safety margin. But if you want to take things in the other direction and do it faster, do it in two months, that's not crazy, but it is intense. So what I mean by that is if you kind of do the math on the hour to hour and a half a day for four months, the typical range that I see people use this program is about 100 to 150 hours. So if you want to compress that into two months, we're talking over two hours pretty much every day with no days off to hit that number. And uh, if you can compress it, if you can make that happen, then great. I think probably the best thing getting started is to get through the fundamentals and the daily insights quickly. Those are just passive videos that you can sit back and watch. You can take notes. You don't have to really do much. Um, just sort of absorb and be reminded of the things that you may have forgot since college. And then, um, you know, 80% of the program is solving the practice problem. So the quicker you can get to that 80%, the better. Um, and then just doing as many practice problems in a day as you reasonably can, and maybe flagging some of the ones that are more challenging or more interesting. You can ask questions in office hours. You can come back to them and, and revisit the solution videos as you get a little further along. Um, but that's really the way to, to build some quick momentum.